VicomRepair.com. We're all in this together. So a common question I get asked is, what are the symptoms of a bad Vicom? My truck's doing thus and so, and could it be the Vicom? Well, the number one symptom, but there's others, and we'll talk about it in this video. Uh, the number one symptom of a bad FICM is cold starting issues. Not hard, not hot starting issues, cold starting issues. Even hot start, starting issues, hot starting issues are almost always a high pressure oil system issue. Cold starting issues are almost always the FICM. Uh, similarly, if um, if you are just 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 an overdrive and it starts to shake and shudder and all that, almost always a high pressure oil system issue. Almost never a fuel injection control module issue. So. If it's hard to start cold in the morning, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just do a search on our website for how to test the thing. We'll just do how to test in the search box, and it'll talk about some ways to test it very explicitly. It involves removing this little military dog tag cover on the top of the thickum. Uh, if you don't have gauges, if you have gauges, you just look in the OBD2 port and look. It's so much easier. Um, and we sell gauges too, but we sell everything. So, uh, but if your thickum voltage is dropping, um, you know, so key on engine off, if it's, you know, sub 46, we would say, but Ford would say sub 45, that's not good. Uh, and then it'll, you know, comes back when it, when it gets warmer. That's exactly what they do. Um, there is a far higher amperage draw through these modules cold than through the modules when they're warm. And so that's the reason why the voltage kind of recovers. So it's just way easier to put up proper voltage with less amperage. And so that's the story. So, thick of main power numbers being sub 46 um, is the number one um, thing that you'll see when you go ahead and measure a problem. The other thing that you can see though is you can see a situation where thick of sync just stays no. It doesn't it doesn't say it doesn't doesn't become yes. It doesn't become a one. So no is zero and or it just says no. When yes is one or it just says yes. So if you're not getting thickum sync, that could be a thickum problem, but probably even that's not a thickum problem. Probably that is um, either a lack of cam sync, a lack of crank sync, a, lot, a lack of injection control pressure, so high pressure oil over 500 PSI, or the existence of keep alive memory codes. So those are the reasons why you don't get thickum sync, but or a bad thickum, right? So, but just look at the rest of this to, to figure that out. Another, another symptom of a bad thickum is dies while driving. So if you're driving along and all of a sudden your thickum just, you know, your, your truck just dies and, uh, and it won't restart until it, until it cools down. Um, that is a very commonly a thickum problem, but that's almost always going to be coupled with a U0105 code, lost communication with thickum. You'll also get a U0306 code at the same time for software compatibility. Of course, the software is incompatible. It lost communication, hello. So that's what's going on. The other thing that you can get is you can get some circuit high codes on one or more injectors. That's an issue with the thickum. Or you can get a circuit low code to one or more injectors. That's an issue with the thickum. Circuit low codes to all eight injectors. Absolutely a minimally a power board issue. Probably also there's some logic board damage. If you have a circuit low code to just an individual injector though, that's almost always a logic board issue. Uh, we can fix that too. Um, or if you get circuit high codes for all eight or just one or two or three, almost always a logic board issue, we can fix that too. Or if it just misses, you don't have, you don't have a way to clear it to look at codes maybe, but it's just, it's just acting like it's missing. It's just running super rough. Um, that can be a indication of a FICM issue as well. Okay. Now, other reasons for hard starting when it's cold is your injectors can actually be sticking. And so if your uh, injectors are sticking, um, but yet your voltage numbers going out of the thickum are good, it might be that you have non-inductive software on the FICM. So if you were to get a tune from us, like any of the, you know, EcoTune, Atlas 40, 80, even the 100, they all include inductive heating. So that would help that out but it's worthy of checking to see if that's what's going on. Or you can go to your local Ford dealership and get reflashed. If you do that though, you're gonna be, you know, kind of shooting yourself in the foot because the latest version of Ford software took 50 horsepower that prior versions had away, but that would help your cold start issues too. But you'd annihilate your fuel economy probably if you're like the rest of us. So um, those are the things that we see as far as how do we know if it comes bad. I hope this helps somebody. If you like our content, uh, please like and subscribe, hit the little bell, and uh, that way you get notifications when we come up with new videos. And um, if you have ideas for other videos, drop us a note with that as well. We're happy to cover whatever topics you'd like. All right. Thanks very much. BigRimPro.com. We're all this together. Thanks.